Hi, welcome back to my old dusty wood shop. Today we're going to learn about a couple new knots. Um, they come from a family of knots called constriction knots, but you're also going to get a chance to help me uh, try out my new trusty bench vise that I built. Uh, I hope it's trusty. And it's the first time I've actually had a chance to use it since I installed it, uh, built it and installed it. And so I'm going to put this up so that we can use this to tie the knots. I, I painted the, the dowel black so that we would have the opportunity to be able to see things a little bit better. I hope that'll work. So the first thing we're going to do is learn about the clove hitch knot. Um, clove hitch is actually pretty simple to do. You wrap it around and you create an X. Pretty simple. Okay. And then, oops, you, you hold it tight, usually over the X like that. And you bring it around and you run the rope back through it. And you end up with a knot. I'll see if I can move that around so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see if we can take it out of the ice here. There we go. For you to see it. So it has a nice X. You got the two lines that you've wrapped around, and the rope goes across those two lines, and that creates friction when it's trying to go on. And this is a very strong knot when being pulled in the direction of the knot, which is in that direction. So, yeah, clove hitch. A couple different ways to tie it. Let's see if I can get this back in one more time. So we're going to tie it one more time. So we're going to, this is coming from, ah, oh, use a longer rope. I got one that actually has a standing end on it. Standing end is the part that has some friction on it. And I'm going to wrap it around and come over the top and see how it pushes down on the standing end. This is the running end. Running end goes around it comes back around and you just open up and you pull it through. I'm doing this blind, so I'm hoping it's right. And it's perfect. And notice how, you know, this has got a little bit of tension in it. But that's not what I'm worried about. It's on the other end. When you're pulling on it, this is nice and stiff. Um, this is not the strongest constriction knot out there, but it's a really good one. And you use it with lashings. Uh, it's a very practical knot. Um, it, if you learn to tie this easily, you can tie it on, uh, with, with large and small cords. It's very simple to use. Um, when you have a post like this, I don't tie it this way. I do it with loops. I come up and I do a loop, just make a simple loop. And then I put another loop in the same direction over the top, come here, put it on, tighten it up and it's in place that quick. Very fast. You don't even have to, you know, you're not worrying about getting everything lined up. You simply go loop and twist the loop, come around over the top of it, and then you have to maybe slide it to get it into place. And here we go. And then you just dress the knot. And it's it's there. All nice and tight. So the clove hitch is a very useful knot for you, and you can use it regularly. Uh, you know, if you're tying up your canoe and all. Um, that's a great way to do it if you're out. Um, it's not for going into a cleat. There is a very uh, variant of it on that. But if you're uh, tying to a post, tying to a tree, if you're uh, hanging a hammock, this is a really good way to do this. Um, if, you're, if you're actually bringing in a, a small boat or canoe like that, uh, I like to do it this way. So we'll come over the top. Constrictor knot has to come over the knot. It's going to push down against the standing line. All right, as it comes around. And normally we would take this other end and we would run it through right here and just tighten it up, cinch it up, and that would be it. But this time we're not going to do that. We're going to put a bend in it like this and run this through. Now this bend will also cinch up. It'll get nice and tight with it. And you need to just tighten everything down and this will hold just like the regular knot there's nothing wrong with this knot it, it will stay very very firm the advantage though is you can run up real quickly on it and you just pull it and this knot just comes right out so let's try that again 
So you wrap around just like you would with a constrictor knot. You're coming over the standing end and you're going to put a, a bend in the end of it. That's where you bend the rope in half. Okay. And you pull it through and you don't pull all the way through because if you pull it through, you just get a regular uh, clove hitch. But this is a clove hitch with a slip. This is called a slip knot. And so this is, has a clove hitch with a slip and it's just as secure, but it makes it very easy to get it loose. And away you go. The next knot that I want to talk about is actually often referred to as a constrictor knot. And it's very similar to the clove hitch. You come over the top and come around. And here's where the difference begins. You go over the top and out the center here. And so you get two X's form, one here and one here. And this becomes a very tight knot. You can see it's not moving at all. So let's see if I can get this loose. Yeah, there it comes. And we'll do this again. So you're going to wrap it around, coming over the, the standing rope, come around again, but now you're coming back over the top and underneath the standing end. And when you tighten this up, you have two X's in it, and it's those two X's that form all of the friction that needs to keep this rope from moving again. Hope you've learned something. Come back and visit. I'd love to have you. And uh, I enjoyed having you in my dusty workshop. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.